Each autumn, red flowers sprout in the lapels of the British public. A symbol of remembrance for those who died in the First World War, red poppies adorn winter coats and wreaths in the run-up to November 11th. They begin life here, in this factory on the outskirts of London, where more than 7 million of the artificial flowers are put together every year by former service personnel. I feel like I'm um, doing something to be proud of. Yeah. Yeah. Doing, putting something back because uh, you know, all, the, all the, the mates I've lost over the years, I think that is very important, yeah, yeah definitely. Because that is, we're, 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 we're preserving their memory. Founded in 1922, the factory provides work for veterans who have all suffered physical or psychological injury. I like to think that we're, we're providing a service, not only a service to help people remember, it's a service to the people who work here it gives them an opportunity to work that they may not otherwise have had and hopefully an opportunity to move on to do something else. The tradition of wearing poppies to express solidarity began at the end of World War I, but took on renewed meaning following Britain's military interventions in Afghanistan and Iraq. It's such a part of the, uh, the fabric of this country and its, and its history uh, that I don't think that will ever, ever go away. I think it's something that's, that's be with us in another hundred years' time. Uh, although I won't be here to find out, but I think it will be in another hundred years' time. Just, just to, uh, it's just so powerful and iconic image uh, for, for people. Despite the red poppy's iconic status, it's not without its critics. Denounced by some as a symbol of war, a rising number of people opt for a pacifist white poppy. Still, some 40 million red poppies are sold by the Royal British Legion charity during its annual November campaign raising around £50 million to help support veterans and their families. And with this year marking 100 years since the end of the First World War, those working here hope the tradition of the red poppy will continue to bloom.